Welcome to Faz Learning Center. Please like, subscribe and share my video. In today's video, we'll be looking at what is a fraction. So a fraction is a part of a whole. As you can see, we have a circle here. To write a fraction, we will need the division line which goes in the middle. So the first thing we're going to ask ourselves, the first thing we are going to ask ourselves is how many parts are there? One, two, three, four. That shows us there are four parts to make a whole circle. This is called the denominator. The denominator shows us the denominator shows us how many pieces are there in a whole shape. Let's look at how many pieces are shaded. One piece is shaded. So the one goes on top here. This is called the numerator. It shows you, the numerator shows you what part is affected, which part has been shaded or taken away or eaten. So here, one piece has been shaded out of four. So your answer is one fourth or one over four. Let's look at the next part. Let's look at the next shape. Here we have two pieces. So where does that two go? Let me show you my division line, just here. Where does it go? Does it go on the top or does it go at the bottom? You are right, it goes at the bottom. So there are two pieces. Let's count the pieces. One, two. How many pieces are shaded? One piece is shaded out of two. And that is one over two or one half. Half of the shape is shaded. And again, the top is the numerator. It is the number of parts that have been shaded, eaten, or even affected. And the bottom one, the bottom and the denominator shows us how many pieces are there in total to make a whole. Let's write the word denominator for you here. Now, let's look at what is a numerator and what is a denominator in detail and how can we remember this. So, a numerator is the number of slices, the number of parts that, that have been affected. The denominator is how many pieces are there to make a whole. So how can we remember which one is which? As you can see, we have the division line and then we have a number on top and we have a number on the bottom. So we could say the number on top. We could say the numerator starts with the, the letter N. Therefore, we could say the top fraction, which is N represents north. This is one of the ways, one of the tips that I'm giving you to remember them. And with the denominator, the denominator is the bottom number. We can say it is the number that is written at the down of the fraction. 
which is the two. I hope you like the tips I've given you to remember the numerator and denominator. So let's just recap what is a fraction. A fraction is a part of a whole. A part is the numerator and you can learn that you can remember that by saying the numerator always goes on the north part of the fraction which is the top part and the denominator is the whole it means the denominator means how many pieces are there in total to make a whole here it's one two three four you need four pieces to make the whole piece the whole circle to remember that you can remember the d and the d can stand for down so your answer your denominator would always go on the down side of the fraction thank you for watching faz learning center please like and share this video please subscribe to faz learning center for more educational videos thank you